Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fielding English channel. Today, we are going to talk about collocations with get. Before we start it, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do it now. This way, you're not going to miss any of the coming videos. What are collocations? Collocations are words that naturally go together in a language. So Cambridge Dictionary says collocations is the combination of words formed when two or more words are often used together in the way that sounds correct. While Native English speakers instinctively know that fast food sounds right, but quick food does not. English learners may not be able to recognize why some words work well together, while others with a similar meaning do not. Learning common collocations is similar to learning phrasal verbs. The more exposure, the better. If you have not watched the previous video about collocations with have, click on the link below and watch it after this one, of course. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about collocations with get. Collocations can be difficult to learn because they're often seems to be no reason for the choice of words in the combination, right? <laughs> so for native English speakers, that is easy. So they instinctively, they know that, but how about English learners? When we are learning English, a second language. <laughs> so don't worry, the more exposure you have to English, the more you'll be able to recognize words that go together. So reading and listening to English as often as you can. Make English as your lifestyle and try to study and use collocations wherever you get a chance. In this lesson, we will just focus on common collocations with the verb get. Let's start with the collocation, get a job. Get a job. It means to start a new position. You get a job. Get married. It means to become legally joined in a ceremony. Get married. Get married. Get divorced, get divorced. It means to end a marriage, to end a relationship, to end your marriage. This is to get divorced, get divorced. Get together. It means to spend time with someone. You get together with someone. So you will spend time with that person. It can be just one person or it can be many people, many friends. So you get together. Get a haircut. Get a haircut like I did here. I got a haircut the other day. Is to have your hair cut by someone. Now, if you cut your hair yourself, you say, I'm cutting my hair. But in this case, we are talking about collocations, and the collocation here is get a haircut. Have your hair cut by someone. Get home. Get home means to arrive at your house, to arrive at, at one's house. So get home. Get in trouble, get in trouble. <laughs> it means to do something wrong, 
and be caught. <laughs> so if you do something wrong, you're getting trouble, getting in trouble or get in trouble, you get in trouble. Get dressed, get dressed is to put on clothes. In the morning, I get dressed. So I put on clothes. Get lost. To get lost, it means you don't know where you are. So you get lost. Get ready. Get ready, it means to prepare. To get ready, to prepare. To be ready, to be ready for the day, for example. To be prepared for the day. So you get ready. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Here at Fielding English, we are expanding our methods to teach you English. And hopefully you found today's lesson of value. Please subscribe to the Instagram or YouTube and TikTok channels for more opportunities to learn English. And consider getting a monthly subscription on Instagram for exclusive content. Thank you so much. And remember, it's about immersion, not perfection. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Thank you.